Now let's get yeah. into it here. Epic Gabriel versus Sharp. One of these players will make it to Grand Finals. And honestly, these are two very strong players in the Wi-Fi scene. Yeah, I'm excited to see this match and see really who's going to come out on top. Um, because, like, as I expected, I expected Epic Gabriel to start with a very projectile heavy start. And here we go, using the Epic Gabriel style that we see going for those forward airs to try and push this really bully his opponent off to the side of the stage yeah. and then z drop z drop the uh the and, gyro. Even, and even then when you look at the way that Epic gabriel punishes sharp in general or even looks to continuously get him off stage he looks to force sharp into recoveries where he know he can punish him because he forced sharp to go for a low recovery but now Brick Brother has been activated. It is going to be RSN. There's the down throw. I like that play from Sharp. Doesn't immediately go for the back air because he tries to find a ledge trump, knowing how safe Epic Gable was trying to play that. That's right. And of course, here we go. More nares and gyros from Epic Gabriel. Sticking to his game plan. It's worked for him this far. He's still up in percent. See how far he's able to take this game plan. Throwing out a couple of up smashes, trying to get the catch. Unfortunately for him, he was unable to. Okay, gyro into laser. Again, more oh. ledge pressure. We're going to just up throw him with the assist of the platform. Not enough to actually yeah. take the stock. Oh, the Nair, though, able to stop Sharp on the jump recovery. And that's a scary thing, too, because there's a lot of tools that Epic Gabriel has to even stop the neutral getup, the roll getup, the shield getup, you name it. And at that opportunity, Sharp was looking for a jump, but it was going to be the wrong call, unfortunately. Uh -huh. And, of course, Epic Gabriel. Here we go. There's the game plan. Got the oh. trip, get the grab, more down tilt, just more pressure, continuing to push his opponents towards the ledge, racking up a ton of damage along the way. Oh, but totally getting the read on that short hop air dodge. I don't know if that was intentional or if like, Epic Gabriel was trying to bait something out, but he, instead he just baited out an up smash, which totally clipped him. Quick down throw into back air. Uh, for Epic Gabriel, and that's going to put him up a stock, a full stock. Here we go, more up airs, more up airs. Not really seeing the, the counter coming out from Sharp. I think uh, the one time he's tried it off stage, it didn't really work out for him. He didn't lose much, but he didn't get much for it either. Yeah. Like All right, Gyro. Good pressure, too, because he pushed in, put enough pressure on Sharp to evaluate the situation. What he, What's his option out of shield is going to be, whether he's going to move in out of shield, he's going to dash out. Look for a grab, wait for Epic Gabriel there. It's just a lot of pressure in general for him to be safe and still buy his way to get center stage again. Forward air, even though there is Arsene, that's good patience on Gabriel not to immediately pull the trigger and go for some sort of punish. Yeah, and I like that he's just, Epic Gabriel just staying center stage while Sharp is looking for his way in because Sharp did have Arsene. Sharp is also at 87% on his last stock, which essentially means that unless Sharp can make some big plays happen. That should be the last Arsene for Sharp in this game. Yeah. But Epic Gabriel is in a much more advantageous space than he was about 10 seconds ago, even though he did lose his stock. Okay, here we go. And Sharp is poking him out. Slowly building up that man. Oh, get over here. Oh, but I do like this play from Sharp because even though he sees Epic Gabe go for higher recoveries, he knows what Joker's toolkit is about and he's still able to reach on him, even when he's using those jets to go really high up in the air. Okay, unfortunate for Epic Gabriel, Sharp was able to rack up enough damage and unfortunately didn't lose his stock when he was at high percent. So that does result in a second arson. And that's going to be bad news for Epic Gabriel. You see right there, already that up smash was still almost strong enough to take out a stock. And wow, just like that, we have a very even game. Epic Gabriel Ooh. trying to land but gets scooped up by an up smash instead. Sharp, able to cover the lining at the last second, and Epic Gabriel not giving him the chance to even get his feet on the ground. What a play, too. But also, it was the sequence that he had, even at the ledge. Because when he saw Gabriel there, he was not going to let up. Like I said, Sharp has a very firm understanding of what Joker's toolkit is. And when it comes to being at the ledge, Sharp definitely executed perfectly. Despite knowing that he probably only had one or two Arsens on left on that stock honestly yeah honestly like if epic gabriel had uh like just continued to play the the sit back and really force your opponents to approach getting chipping away at them away um then it should have resulted in as 
like um, Sharp not actually getting a second Arsene, but it was because Arsene was a or Sharp was able to get in and rack up a good amount of damage on Epic Gabriel. That's what gave him enough meter plus taking damage while by getting chipped out. Right, here we go, Sharp looking much better here in game two for the start. He is yeah, just I... boxing out his opponent. Epic Gabriel was having so much difficulty just getting stuck at the left side of the stage, but now double down tilt into the spinny arms. Classic combos from our Rob player. Nice. He pressured him enough that pretty much Gabe did not want to go out of shield. And Sharp had earned himself the grab. That's one of the things I'm like about Sharp too. He uses the, the ground or the aerial tether just because he knows that that's something you can do against characters like Snake and Rob as a whole. You can you can definitely punish them for over jumping or over extending or just taking their time to stall off the stage. But every game you're here on the revenge to go for the robo arms, seeing Sharp that it, as he's off the stage, Sharp lands, there's the back air ensuing. And of course, Epic Gabriel taking some time on the Angel platform to honestly patiently wait out the arson. Are you patiently waiting out the arson and also reflecting from what just happened? Honestly, Sharp was only able to essentially like get hit for 85% because of his um, his habit of jumping out of shields. Oh, great down air! Catching right before Joker was able to catch the ledge. Here we go, Epic Gabriel showing that he does in fact have the download on Sharp. But it has Sharp going to get Arsene, and is Arsene going to be his ticket to victory? It yeah. was in the last game. We see similar percents. If Sharp is able to clean up this stock, then he is well on his way to repeating game one. Yeah. The movement around Sharp here is excellently clean because the way that he moves around to move around where Epic Gabriel is going to land, but not only where he's going to land, but where he's going to be after the opportunities. But unfortunately, he had exhausted the double jump and he was too far off the stage. Gabe will get the gyro and we'll move on to push a game three scenario here, putting it 1-1 yeah. a piece. Taking the game score to 1-1 a piece. And I want to take it back to a little bit earlier in that game two. Now you saw that, I think it was the way that Epic Gabriel took Sharp's first stock. Uh, where he back aired the shield, Epic Gabriel had find had had noticed that Sharp likes to jump out of shield on those platforms, and not only did he notice it, but he used it to his advantage. That got him that earlier kill at around eighty percent, and then he was able to push his momentum into pushing an additional eighty percent onto Sharp. It's little niche uh, situations like that, noticing your your opponent's habits, that's going to allow you to push your momentum. Yeah. All right, well, like, Epic Gabriel able to go on to game three against Sharp. We'll see who is the winner on here. Because like we said, this is best of three only. And of course, there is double elimination in this bracket. Yeah, Staying somebody's got to go to losers. Somebody's got to go to losers. Yeah. And I'm not going to be me, man. I'm losers. not going. <laughs> losers has got some players, man. You definitely don't want to be in losers. But we'll see how things go. Epic Gabe so far taking control of the stage. Oh, very dangerous, but smart on Ugh. Sharp's side. He waited just a little bit longer because you no. know that Epic Gabriel is going to want to go for the down air, but getting scooped up, spinny arms all the way to the side. Honestly, it was good on Sharp to wait out the gyro and to try to make it up. A more precise evaluation of how to get up on the stage. The big problem here is that when he went for the shield get up, that was just in Epic Gabriel's hands to get the grab and then punish him accordingly. And that's the thing about sharp and the way that he sees gyro he honestly does a really good job of just trying to respect it knowing how it can mess up your recovery how it edge guards the stage honestly it's the one thing that wins the neutral easily for rob oh that's so unfortunate sharp saw that was the directional air dodge from epic gabriel instead of going for an up smash he went for a grab that definitely would have connected <laughs> uh but the he did just go for for up smash a little bit earlier and uh it didn't work for some reason Okay, landing behind the gyro. Very smart by Epic Gabriel, giving him that uh, that safety net. Yeah. You can see that Sharp tried to connect the, uh, the falling forward air into up tilt, but that was still a good attempt, by the way, even if you missed it, because you can see that Epic Gabriel tried to land, and it worked out as an anti-air for him. But Sharp looking for an opportunity to get in here on Gabriel. I like that he's now using this movement, using the ways he can try to whiff punish Gabriel. Gabriel is still using that gyro to try to buy himself to get back on the stage as he does so. And honestly, that's the understanding of these two characters. 
is the way that Sharp plays Joker, trying to use his movement, trying to get a whip punish, but also Gabriel understanding, the more that I limit this character's movement and abilities, the better I can get around him. Here's the down throw. There is no up in here as Sharp gets Arsen. That's right, and then, here we go. The Arsen game is here. I think Gabriel is able to push Sharp off the stage. And of course, with Sharp already being at two stocks, you know Epic Gabriel wants to play a little bit more risky, dropping down so far, not thinking that Sharp was going to go that deep. But guess what? Sharp is here to win. And when you're here to win, you got to make plays like that. Yeah, definitely have to make plays like that. And if anybody has to make plays for sure, it's Sharp as he's sitting on two stocks, 151. Epic Gabriel on some pretty fresh percent with two stocks as well. We'll see what Shark can do against that. He does have time for another Arsene if he's able to pull it through, but he's got to play this safely as possible. Look at that whiff punish range that he sets out the AHA. Always looking to get some kind of sort of damage in there as a safe poke, but also a way to punish Gabriel for possibly overextending. Overextends on the Nair. Here's the grab. 52%. Okay. Sharp looking to yep. take center stage. 171% on Sharp. Again, shouldn't be, we shouldn't be seeing another Arsen on this stock. But still, we've seen Sharp do it before. We've seen him bring out the big bro when he wasn't supposed to. But let's Oof. see if he can do it again. Gets caught by Nair at 181. That bar is filling up very fast. Yeah, that was a scary cross up too because if Sharp had miscalculated there, that was going to be it. And Epic Gabriel would have been the one on the victory screen. But Sharp has another chance here at 181. Gabe trying to play this as safe as possible. He does not want to lose this lead because it's literally coming to what it possibly is any man's game. Mm -hmm. Great direction on air dodge. Gyro in hand. Again, another just a little bit of percent. I think if he can land one or two more good hits. Here we go. There should be a down throw into forward air. Oh, just a little bit too high. But still, Arsene is on his way. Just one more good hit. That's oh, all we that need. That was almost on the oh. get up read. 181. That Nair looking to try to catch Sharp. Arsene activated off of the strong play that he's been making. Now, Epic Gabriel, this has become his game to lose. Down throw, no upper. I like that patience from Sharp. Looking to bait out the reaction. Mm -hmm. But now you can expect Sharp to be pushing a little bit more buttons, playing a little bit more aggressive, and that's what Epic Gabriel is counting on. Now that Sharp was finally approaching him, it's going to give Epic Gabriel opportunity to land his big hits, get a grab, get an up throw, and finally Arsene can go away. But Sharp with a couple of back airs of his own, cleaning up that stock, and here we go. Game three, one stock apiece, low percent, anyone's game. Honestly, the way these two played their second stock, they were playing it like it was their last stock. And honestly, the way Sharp played, he knew he had to play like it was his last stock because that could very well determine how the last stock plays out. As you can see, that Sharp has his 41% lead. But the one thing that I'm really liking about Sharp here is even when he gets cross-ups, he looks to shut down Gabe, Gabe's movement by using AHA or take aim or even trying to force out a whiff punish. Look at that situation, man. He stops his aggression with AHA, looking to cover the landing, and then he gets a whiff punish for it. It's an excellent play. I mean, AHA and just the angle that it takes is such a great zoning tool. And it just allowed Sharp to pull back and say, where are you going to go? What are you going to do? I can be there. Let me yeah. be there for you, Epic Gabriel. <laughs> he's definitely trying to be there with that forest mesh because he almost called the landing. Sharp looking for the deep end back end, but he's got to watch the recovery here. There was the gyro in played, and that could have definitely spilled curtains for him. Down throw forward air, like that play from Gabe, changing the way he would go for an aerial into a back air and turn it to a mount for Sharp's possible high recovery. He is very jump happy, and the robo arms. That wasn't even like a Z drop. He straight up forward air. He straight up popped Sharp off stage and then committed to the robo arms, the spinny arms, the GG arms for Epic Gabriel.